In this tutorial, we'll actually render a keyframe-based animation. So I have this object here in the center selected right here, and so I'll just create a couple keyframes for it, say down here at, I don't know, frame one, and I'll set a rotation keyframe with I, and press rotation like this, and then maybe I'll come up here to frame, oh, maybe say 140, and then I'll come up here and press R, Z, and I'll rotate this on Z just a little bit and I'll set another keyframe with I and then rotation and let's verify that with Alt A and so there it is rotating up to there so then what I actually want to render the animation I want to come into this render button right here and then down in here you might not have this play button unless you have this latest version if I have 2.65 a which is a what I'm running, but you'll have a render and an animation button. And the length of frames that will be generated are determined by this frame range, 1 to 250 regardless, even if you have set an extrapolation of your keyframes within the graph editor, it's still just going to be determined by this start and end range. And you can set that either in here, or you can set it down in here. You notice that's at 238, I drop that down to say 160, like this and that changes to 160 as well. And the other thing to consider is the number of steps in between frames, so this is going to do every frame. And then also the frame rate is going to determine your timing. In the US we use 30 frames per second, or actually 29.97 frames per second for uh, accurate timing like this. That's why that number is in there. So we'll just leave that just like that. And then I'll come in here and I'll just render maybe, I'll just set this to 140 frames and for the moment I'll just set the samples way down low and then the next thing to, that's really important to consider is take a look at this output tab it says by default it'll it's putting in the temp directory so that'll be in your C, C drive slash TMP and it's going to place the files there but it's going to use the default file name dot PNG so it's going to have the name of your file dot P, one dot PNG two dot PNG etc like that, or it'll be like 0001.png. So you can render individual files, and if you don't want to stuff it into that directory, you need to select a new one here. Or otherwise, you could just select AVI JPEG, and that'll compress the files into one file. And it'll you'll see it in your dash TMP directory as 1 to 140 dot uh, JPEG when the movie's actually finished, like that. All right. So let's, I'll just start the rendering here just by pressing the uh, animation button. If you just press render, it'll only render whatever current frame you're on there. Like that would render number 88, but you'd have to have your, like a single image pressed to really see it. But since I have an AVI JPEG, I'll press animation and let's see actually how long this takes. Well, hang on, I'm going to stop that just for a second. Make sure my, I usually render at 1280 by 720, so I use this. HDTV 720p preset, so I'm running at 1280 by 720, and I'll go into render mode just to look at it. All right, now I'll press animation. Let's see how long it takes for each frame. Well, in that case, okay, so well that'll run it, and so you'll see one to 140. But my camera's not set up in this case, so you have to have your camera set as well. I'm just looking at it through my viewport. You can actually. This, I have troubles in this particular version, 64-bit. You can press Control, Alt, and 0 on the numpad, and that'll typically set your... I'll do it right here, and that should set your camera to look at where you're viewing in the scene, but for some reason I'm having trouble doing that right now. But it kind of did it right there, so I'll use that for the moment, and I'll run, press the animation, and you'll see that the camera view has actually changed. But we certainly won't wait for that because even at 10 samples, that's taking, yeah, what? Oh, yeah, over five and a half frames per second to run the animation. But it's only going to do 0 to 140 based on what you have set here. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.